why is it that we see so many women in today's day and age? They're so infatuated by the bad boy. Why is it that they're always so fixated on the man who's got like these toxic masculine traits? Now to answer that question, let's go ahead and before we dive all into this, let's look at our modern man today, right? Most men these days are limp, completely flaccid, just soft. They sit at home playing countless hours of video game, immersing themselves in prawn, their diet is whack. Rather than spending time sharpening their leadership skills, rather than reading books and diving into self-improvement, they'd rather just sit back on their parents' couch and swipe away on TikTok for countless hours because it's easy. It's relaxing, it's nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like a pretty chill time, right? And no judgment at all. This type of guy that I'm describing right now, that was me for years, bro. Up until recently, actually. And honestly, I'd say that 98, 99% of most men out there are living like this. They got no vision, no direction. And then they go ahead and just point the finger at everybody else, right? It's everybody else's fault. Oh, my parents gave me bad genetics. Oh, girls these days, they're just so corrupt and so shallow. They only like the bad boys. They only like the guys who are rich and got all the money. And it's wild, bro. On top of that, to add another layer, you got all these female rappers and entertainers. I mean, the things that they're just singing and rapping about, bro. Look, hey, deep down, a woman, she doesn't want to be looked at as just a piece of meat, just a tool to be used and thrown away. The sad reality is most women these days they don't know what they want. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to throw no shade at women. I think women are one of the greatest gifts that God gave us men. But a lot of them have just become so lost and confused, bro. I mean, just like the rest of us, even us men as well. But you know, a lot of these women these days, they're so confused about what they desire in a man that they're just frantically just scrambling around trying to say exactly what they think every man wants to hear trying to post exactly what they think every man wants to see. And look, hey, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything here. If you guys are looking for some super suave uh, YouTube sensation relationship guru who wears real nice expensive jackets and sponsored watches, who's just gonna tickle your ears all day, I'm not your guy and this video probably ain't for you. So hey, look, bro, deep down a woman, she desires a king, someone who holds the crown, who has a vision, who takes action and wants to lead the relationship. A woman, she wants to feel and she wants to know that her man is the man. And the reason why most women are going after these toxic masculine guys, these bad boys, is simply because, I mean, look, if you look all around you, bro, most men these days, they fall into either one of two categories. You got your bad boys, right? Or you got just straight cookie doughs. And then you got culture telling women, oh, you need a guy who's soft. That's, that's what you want, a guy who's soft and emotional all the time. And then you got feminists right along with them saying, oh, you need to be the aggressive one in the relationship. You need to be the queen bee. You need to rule over your man, be superior. You need to be the one who wears the pants in the relationship. And so what do women do? They listen to this, they tune into this, and then therefore they end up choosing guys like this. And then what happens? They eventually, they're either just in a horrible marriage that they hate and wish they could get out of, or they cheat on them with the bad boy. Because they don't want no soft, limp <laughs> Metaphorically and literally. But hey look, so I'm just being real. The reason why most women go after these bad boys is because at least the bad boy, even though he may be very toxic, hey, at least he's exercising some form of his masculinity. At least he's got some sort of sex appeal. At least he's going to the gym and training. At least he's embracing his aggression and assertiveness. He might not have the right values, but at least he's got some of the characteristics. And this might be the closest thing a woman ever gets to having a real man. But then, check this out. Then you got over here, way over here, you got this small little infantismal division of men. These are like the one percenters. And the thing that separates them from everybody else is not only do they have the characteristics of a masculine man, but they also have the values. They got ambition, but they don't spend that ambition on useless things. They embrace their masculine sexual energy, but they save it for their wife. They're aggressive, but only in a way that's for protecting and serving and building up his 
empire, in other words, his family. And it's wild, bro. The world's taught us that these traits such as aggression, such as stoicism, mental toughness, oh, that's just all toxic masculinity. And though they can be used in a toxic formation, I believe most of us men should be embracing these things more often, but use them in a way that honors tradition. Use them in a way that builds up your family, your empire. See, your average bad boy, what does he offer? He offers authenticity. He does what he wants and he doesn't care what people think about it. Your average millionaire, your average rich guy, what's he offer? He offers ambition, drive, focus, a form of aggression, right? That toxic masculine trait. He's aggressive after his dreams and goals and things he wants to do in life. It's absolute alpha energy and most men don't have it these days. Most men are sitting there playing video games and they got like this sense of a, a, a make-believe achievement. They level up, right? On all these video games, they gain these like experience points and improve their powers and abilities and skills, but it's all make-believe, it's all fairy tale. And then you get so lost into that world, you get so lost into prawn when you're watching these women on these videos and you fantasize and you imagine yourself having uh, sexual relations with them, your brain doesn't know the difference. Right? It's thinking to itself, oh, you're the man, right? You're the king. That's just our mind in its most primitive state. But then you go out there into the real life and you're just, you're nothing. You're still on level zero. So, hey, look, I say, let's create a whole new breed of men who, yeah, got the characteristics of masculinity, but also got the values to back it up. This is a standard that I live by. And let me tell you, my, my dudes, my brothers, my wife, I don't, I don't mean to sound, I don't mean to put myself on some sort of pedestal, you guys know my heart, but my wife, she's in absolute awe of me. She's infatuated by me. All day long, bro, like, <laughs> this might be a little too much information, but all day long, bro, she's telling me what she wants to do to me in the bedroom tonight, right? She's just telling me a, how much of a, just a top G I am. She's like so sexual with me, bro. I mean, just, just being honest here. And on top of that, she just, she submits to me. She looks to me as the leader. She looks to me as like the authority in the home. And she just, she fully trusts me. She trusts me to lead the home. She's a good girl, bro. She really is. And she's down for me, just me, 110%. I'm blessed, bro. I'm seriously blessed. She's a good girl that loves me and also who loves God, who puts him first, who puts Jesus first. But check it out, bro. Like, I worked for this. I trained for this. Like, hey, look, I didn't just randomly get her, right? I had to literally work to get her. God made sure that I was worthy, that I was ready to take on one of his daughters, for him to just pass on over that mantle to me. And honestly, that's, that's what you want, bro. You don't want just some girl on IG who can so easily just flaunt all her cleavage for every man to see. You don't want a girl who just easily gives away all her value to all these guys. No, you want a girl who keeps it, who keeps her value and holds on to it until she's ready to give it to a man, not a man child, not a boy, but a man who's worthy of it, who's worthy of her. And I don't know, man, maybe I'm just built a little different, but me as a man, a man who you know, I, I like to embrace my masculinity and I don't want just things offered to me in life. You know, I, I, me personally, as a man, like I want to, I want to work for it. I don't want things just handed over to me real easy because that doesn't build any mental or physical fortitude, right? That's not actually building me as a man. I want to earn it. Make me earn it, bro. Make me work. And that's also how you know it's the right girl. When a girl just easily offers herself to you, come on, bro, you know deep down, you know deep down that she's constantly giving her value away. You know, you know she ain't wifey material. You want a girl who's gonna make you work for it a little bit because that's how you know she has self-respect. She's looking out for herself, right? And I don't know, I just think that's, I love tradition like that. I love like back in like, I was talking to my friend Ty about this yesterday. I love like how in like movies that are like set back in the 50s and stuff like that. Like I, I loved how men had it. You know, they had a chase after the girl. The girl just, she never gave it up that easy. You got women today who give it up on the first date. You got women today who give it up before the first date, who have no self-respect whatsoever, who are just 
looking and seeking so much attention and validation from boys. And they just easily give themselves over to these prawn addicted man children. See women, they gotta get this bro. They gotta get this. If you're a woman watching this, realize that you are valued just for who you are. You don't have to do nothing. You are so valuable just the way you are. So don't just freely give over that value to every single man that comes your way and shows you some attention. You are valued just how you are, but a man is valued, realize this my, my men, realize that you are valued for what you bring, what you give. So you as a man, before you go out there dating just some random chick, before you go out there and are trying to find the one, build yourself first. Make sure you got a lot to give, you got a lot to offer. Make sure you got vision and direction. You got the skills and you got what it takes to be a man, to be a leader, and to sit on that throne in your home. The goal isn't just to build yourself up so you can F chicks, bro. You're a fool if you think that's what it's all about. Hookup culture is just destroying men. Culture tells men these days, oh, just go out and enjoy yourself. Have fun while you're young. Gain experience with women. Don't even hold back. We're taught to enjoy the rewards of manhood, but only embrace the responsibilities of a young little child. All hookup culture is, you guys, it's just, I don't even know if I could say this on camera, uh, master debation. I'll say that. All you're doing essentially is just playing with yourself, pleasuring yourself while having another person, another woman come in and help you do it. And I know as cheesy as it sounds, bro, <laughs> but hey, look, this is someone else's daughter, bro. I mean, how effed up is that? What if another man came in and started doing that to your daughter? What if 10 different men, 20 different men started coming in and doing that to your daughter? Just using them as a master debation tool, a slab of meat that they can just get off to. Would you be cool if they were doing that with your daughter? I mean, if you got a soul, I don't think you would like that, right? I know I wouldn't. So don't waste your time just embracing hookup culture. Our world is in the state that it's in because of this. Be very careful with the type of girls that you date. They could literally destroy your life. I know men in my own life who've gotten themselves so deep into these relationships with the wrong women that their life is literally hell on earth. And then you got the occasional guys like me where I'm straight living just, it, my life is paradise. My wife makes me feel like I'm the king of the world. And honestly, bro, you should know within the first five minutes whether a girl is wifey material or not. Not even that, you should be able to look on her Instagram and just intel. So to finish this off, you gotta think to yourself, hey, What's the goal here? What kind of man do I need to be? The goal should be, what you should be telling yourself, is to be the man that I want my daughter to marry and my son to be. That's the goal. So with that said, hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Hope you got a little something from it. And uh, give it a nice big thumbs up if you did. Hit the notifications button to be informed when I drop new content. By the way, I got a masculine masterclass that I'm about to drop here within like the next month. So sign up to the newsletter for free down below to be the first to know when I drop that along with a huge discount code that you can't get anywhere else. And hey, if you wanna absolutely catapult your life right now as a man and embrace your masculinity, reject culture's ways, check out this video. It won't disappoint, it'll change your life. And until next time, talk to you guys soon. Peace always.